High school football playoff action. Albia beat Mid Prairie Wellman for the second time in as many years. Albia in blue. Brett Freshwater finds the end zone to make it seven to nothing. Meanwhile, Mid Prairie could not hang on to the ball. It's Albia's Brett Leshen with the strip on the kickoff. He will recover. Nice play by number five. A couple of plays later. Carter Isley would cash in. Great blocking tonight by the Albia offensive line. Isley picks up another 20 yards. The big fella can move it. Number 36 would get six more points with power running. Albia looked impressive on both sides of the ball. They prevail. The final, 42 to nothing. Moravia hoped that the home field advantage would help them against Colo Nesco. Moravia in blue first quarter action. Briar Cochran's pass is picked off by Grant Turks, who takes it all the way for the easy six points. But Moravia would battle back. Sam Klaus takes the ensuing kickoff, 74 yards. Watch him. He weaves his way downfield with ease. That would cut the lead to 10 to 6. However, Colo Nesco quarterback. Brady Stoffler can't find anybody open, so he takes off for the big, big gain as his legs are as lethal as his arm. A couple of plays later, he would call his own number. Moravia comes up short the final tonight, 51-20. to In college football, tough losses are one thing, but losing to your rival in the fourth quarter is another. Truman State squandered a 13-point lead to Quincy. They lost by four, 23-19. It was a long bus ride home for the Bulldogs, but they have to put the loss in the rearview mirror. We've got a 24-hour rule that I enforce on myself. Uh, that's 24 hours to enjoy a win, 24 hours to flush a loss. You've got to put your happy face on uh, and get back to work, and that's what people do in real life. Uh, you know, you just put one foot in front of the other and keep working. We've had some tough days, uh, uh, all of us, and, and uh, uh, it's just what, what we do in our countries, and, and this sport kind of epitomizes that. Truman State men's basketball team lost to Northern Iowa 70-50 to in an exhibition game on Sunday. But you know what? There were still plenty of positives. I was really proud of uh, the way we defended and, and rebounded. Uh, those are two things I think that are going to be really important for us. And uh, obviously, a little few too many turnovers. We didn't shoot it as well as I know we can. So cross country team will send Erica Wolmering, Lauren Gaines, and Duncan Clark to this week's state meet. Three kids going down, they're very deserving of that honor to go down and race for an all-state position. Uh, you know, as a coach, you always hope you get more kids involved in that meet. And, uh, you know, we can't really be upset with what happened, you know, because the whole team ran very well that day. In volleyball, Indian Hills beat Southern, uh, Southeastern, rather, 25-7, 25-7, and 25-12. The Warriors start district play on Saturday. In college soccer, Truman State goalkeeper Katie Mattingly has been in the GLBC Defensive Player of the Week. Next up for the Bulldogs, the GLVC semifinals. Yeah, I think that now we actually feel like we have the potential to win it. It's only two games away. We're going to focus on Friday first, but I think we have it in us to win just based on what we've been playing towards the end of the season. It's really been building for us at the right time. Teresa will have final weather right after you watch this.